What is going on guys? The Gaming Ram here and welcome back to Beam and G Drive. And today we're back in Beam. And let me tell you, I'm very excited. It's been a good a little while, but right right behind me, something that just pulled up and we're ready to unload it. What made it all the way here? It's been a long road trip for it. You guys are ready? Here we go. Right behind me. Look at this. That is right. We got the SN95 Mustang. It just pulled up. It arrived from his long road trip. It came back from Utah. We are now and ready. Now, the only thing is, is that this car doesn't run. So how are we going to get off this trailer? We got to figure that out. Um, and also, we got the Bronco. As you guys can see here, the 75 Ford Bronco is back. And we're finally, we got every truck now back so we can do the off-road video uh so now that we got the bronco back we are ready to go but um so we got to figure out how we're going to get this mustang off honestly i might just hook it up to the uh the ford and just pull it off uh which is probably what that's probably the best thing to do so we uh i'm just honestly i think we're just gonna pull it off all right, so I just brought the chain out. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook a chain to the back of the Mustang. Hopefully we don't tear nothing up because it's uh, it's not the strongest car. It's been sitting for 15 years, so hopefully it has something to hook to. And we're going to fire up this fork. And we're going to try... And this truck has... I got fasteners back there. We can kind of use it. <laughs> We're going to tear something up. <laughs> yeah. This is the only place where you're going to see a show truck goes to work. It's not very likely this happens. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if we can even get it to roll. Because parking brake is on. Alright. It might roll off actually here. Hold on. We might can get it to roll. Yep, we gotta roll it. Gotta roll it. That worked. <laughs> I mean, that worked. Heck yeah. I mean, a heck. Shoot. All right. Uh, that'll do. That'll do. <laughs> Well, we got it to roll, at least, but I kind of made it worse. <laughs> I didn't think this through, but I kind of made this a little bit worse than it being on the trailer. If I, I, I gotta get this, this in here under the car. There we go. That kind of is how I want it. Now, the problem is finding something to hook to. Alright, let's hook this other end up. Gotta get it kind of over and away from the fence. Let me put this truck in low, so that way I don't really tear nothing up. We are on the fence now. Uh, I can't win with you. Do we just send it? See what happens. I oh, mean, it's gonna tear it up if I keep. If I keep. If I continue, I'm gonna tear this whole that whole car. Out. <laughs> oh, it's too late, bro. Okay, let's see if we can try to get this done without tearing up my dang car, even though it has to be completely repaired already here we go put her in drive yeah i told you i was hooked to the exhaust on the car okay i mean it, it's away from the fence so that's good i'm gonna have to austin powers this Alright, I mean, it's in the yard. That's all that matters, really, as long as it's in the yard. <laughs> um, because, yeah. Uh, so that, that's that's a plus. Exhaust, we completely ripped that. Alright, we're gonna get the Bronco off the truck so this guy can get out of here. 
because I know he wants to get out of here because he got to drop this Camaro off. This is a Z28 Camaro, I believe, but I believe it might. This is a, I'm pretty sure this is a drag car. Uh, there you go. So he told me that I can, I can unload it myself. Yep, that's a liability. <laughs> that's a, that's a liability, right? You know, let the owner drive his own car off the freaking car hauler. What can possibly go wrong? <laughs> uh, whatever. I can do this. Yeah, plus, we own one of these before, so. <laughs> Yeah, all right, slow, slowly, slowly bag this thing up here. Let's not tear up my Bronco here again. Perfect. All right, look at who's back in town here, ladies and gentlemen. The 75 4 Bronco is back ready to roll all right cool so there you go we got everything back now um also i had ordered some wheels and tires and we're actually going to be getting them pretty soon so you guys are going to be seeing some new wheels and tires for the ford so i don't know how they're going to look i don't know if they're going to fit but these are going to be some pretty massive tires so i'm going to leave it at that uh so we're gonna see what this Ford, and also I gotta take the Ford over one day, and we're gonna get some work done on the engine, and hopefully we can get the engine squared away so she can actually makes power. Cause right now it makes about 1500, 1600 horsepower, but it's not stable horsepower. So we're gonna try to get it to be at least 2000 horsepower. So it's gonna be a 2000 horsepower 60 power stroke build, um, which. I don't know how that's going to work, but we're going to try to push out that kind of power. All right. Last but not least here, I want to show you guys the Camaro. So this is a 67 uh, Chevy Camaro. Uh, I bought this car a while back, and we've been slowly building it. Um, it has a 454 uh, LS and completely built. It's twin turbo powered. Fire it up. So it's twin turbo. How much power? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't dyno it yet, but... Also, I got to uh, I don't know if you guys can hear me on this. Hold on here. Yeah. Let me turn it down real quick. So this car, uh, I got a new transmission in it. I got the uh, line lock is now installed. So I now can, ins I can now do a proper burnout if I go and drive and actually do the burnout. It's still pretty hard to do it. A line lock burnout, but and I kind of got trans brake kind of working. It still needs to be kind of worked out a little bit. It's still a little clunky. It's not perfect, um, but we're gonna get this card together, uh, and I would like to go drag racing. Uh, pretty soon, but before I can even do it. I got to get this car dialed really dialed in and also I got some new tires on the rear um, As you can see I got some pretty Some pretty they're a lot wider You can see them, but they're a lot wider than the ones I had on here before and I got the willy bar Willy bar and the parachute hooked up Parachute don't work at the moment, but it's it's back there as long as it's back there uh, But we do have a willy bar just in case we do pop a willy. It, we're not popping a willy, but just in case if it does, it, 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 you know, it will prevent it from completely flying over. No matter what transmission I put in this car, nothing works. Yeah, we stalled. We stalled. Now this car does make a lot more uh, boost. can't win them all you win some you lose some you lose some and then you win some but i guess that's what the name of it all right we made it back to the house um and we're gonna be start tearing this car down here a little bit we're gonna tear it down 
piece by piece. We're the ones that's actually going to be building this. I usually I'll send it off to a shop somewhere and I have it and I have it built. But we're going to do this ourselves. You know, we can do this ourselves. We don't need a shop. Um, we're going to do it right here at the house. Uh, so we're going to do all the work ourselves. Uh, <laughs> what I'm getting myself into, but it's because I got too many things out of the shop at the moment. You know, I got like three trucks in the shop getting work done. I got a big project going on. I got some more stuff coming. So how about we do a little fun, pro a little bitty fun build, I guess, over here at the house for ourselves. But before we start building it, we have to tear this car down. Um, we're stripping this whole car down completely to its to its shell and then to its frame and its wheels. And then we're going to do the rest of it. And then we're going to pull the engine out, transmission. And we we got to rebuild this entire car inside and out. We're doing it piece by piece. Uh, so that is the plan today. Try to see if I can get this hood open. I'll probably just take it off because we got to get in it anyway. I took the hood off. This is the engine that's in the car. As you can see, we're going to be changing this engine in this. Uh, we're going to be doing a complete build. A complete build, a complete operation on this car. The first thing I think I should do is I want to tear the inside out of the car. I don't know why. I just have the urge of ripping this interior out of the car. So, let's get to work. <laughs> let's go and do it. Let's rip the entire interior out of this car. I already took the door off, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. But, it is in fact, a, uh, I believe it was a 4-speed or 5-speed. Uh, they got the rear seat delete. Um, but they didn't put the kit in it <laughs> because the rear seat delete actually you take the rear seats out on the car since they're very they're not practical at all you cannot fit back you could fit back there but you won't be comfortable <laughs> you will not be comfortable in the back seat of a SN96 Mustang or SN95 Mustang um, and it doesn't even but yeah it usually has this little cover that covers the back so you don't see the back of the trunk these are I think these are leather leather seats look like pretty pretty good and snazzy for a, a v6 i'll say so i need to find my tools it's somewhere in, in the house probably because i didn't put them out here because i don't have no door and i don't last thing i want to do is put tools out here and someone steal them <laughs> so uh let me grab my tools and we're gonna get started ripping this interior out of this car all right i got my tools all right i had to go and find them i just i threw them in the house somewhere and yeah, I literally moved here, and I'm like, yeah, throw them somewhere, and then you try to find them. It's like, yeah. But anyway, we got our tools, and we're going to start. We're going to take this driver's seat out first, and then we're going to do the passenger side. And then we're going to just completely rip the dash apart for just no reason, just because why the heck not. So, let me do that. All right, so I got the car tore down here a little bit. I got a fun way to tear this. I, oh, excuse me. No. I have a very fun thing I kind of want to do with this uh, this spoiler. <laughs> We're going to get that spoiler off the car. But in a fun way. All right, so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to we're going to just get that spoiler right off. So without further ado, let's let's remove that spoiler. There you go. <laughs> there you go so well, as you can see it's now spoilerless and honestly i kind of like it without the spoiler how do you guys think you guys like the spoiler on here or do you guys like it non-spoiler or you know because honestly it looks pretty good without the spoiler it looks pretty slick all right so the next thing we have is the engine when you look at it it's like oh it's been sitting and it looks pretty wor you know it looks pretty rough but the overall condition of the car is actually it's actually not bad um surprisingly uh i guess it's because it's in utah maybe that has something to do with it i don't know but anyway the the very next thing that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna take this engine out now honestly i have no way of literally taking this engine out but it's because i don't have my forklift here so i'm probably gonna have to rent me a forklift and we're gonna pull the engine out of this car um I am going to have to get this car jacked up, but that's that's why I said I need the forklift, because the forklift will be that. Um, So, yeah, we're probably going to have to rent a forklift, and we're going to pull the engine out of the car, take the transmission loose, and then we can pull it out. That's probably the best bet. 
because I don't. It's the easiest way. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's probably gonna be the easiest way to do this. I don't know. I'll be back. One hour later. Um, I did some calling around, and good news. Uh, one of my neighbors, I asked him. Hey, I was like, hey man, can I borrow your truck and trailer? He was like, what are you hauling? I told him I was going to pick up some lumber. He said, okay, sure. Uh, head on over here. So, I'm going to go and pick up his truck. Uh, he's going to let me use both, his truck and his trailer. Now, his trailer is not quietly designed to haul a forklift. So, um, hopefully I don't tear nothing up <laughs> because, um, yeah, I don't want to buy him another truck and trailer or truck or trailer. So, uh, hopefully... I mean, he could look out his window and see me, but, you know, he, he's pretty cool. He's pretty chill. So, look at this here, guys. Look at this. He got himself a freaking Chevy. It's a high country. It's a 2500, too. Look at that. 2500 HD. Wow. This thing is, man, it is so clean. I like this. I like this. This is really nice. He literally just got this truck um, about a week or two ago. So, uh, surprisingly, he let me use his truck. But this is the trailer right here that we're going to use. <laughs> like I told you, <laughs> it's not very much something that you will haul a forklift on. But it is a dual axle, so that's a, that's an advantage, I guess. It's not a single axle. Um, I'm going to grab the keys to the truck real quick and uh, possibly a down payment in, uh, for a rental. So, I'll be back. I'll be back. All right. Yeah, I'll be back in like 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes. All right, guys. I'm going to drive. I'm going to leave the Bronco here. Uh, I told him, if you got to go anywhere, you can take the Bronco. It's pretty much, it's, you know, it's reliable. It's been, it's been upkept. It's a very reliable truck. Now, here we go. The first time in a Chevy High Country. Here's the interior of the High Country. Pretty nice standard Chevy interior. It's pretty much it's all wiggling and wobbling. Not the best beer, not the best build quality Chevy, but eh, you know I guess whatever. You know you slap high country on it and it's automatically an eighty thousand dollar truck. <clears throat> anyway, fire it up. I don't know, but what do you guys think i mean i've been looking for a, a new truck to be a tow rig i mean i've been driving a lot of old trucks so what do you guys think should we buy a new truck should we or we can get ourselves a new ram uh 3500 i live right around the dang corner from it but let's see where this place at ah boy i'm lost Look at that. We can do a burnout in here. So, it was a place that let me, they're going to let me rent their uh, forklift for. I was like, I need it only for like a day, maybe two. So, here it is here. Uh, let's see if I can back in there real quick. Oh, going the wrong way. Alright, there we go. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, man. I'm driving like a Chevy driver right now. Hold on. All right. Chevy did amazing. I ain't going to lie to you. This Chevy, this Silverado, perfect. Not perfect, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I don't know. I'm debating if I want to get me a high country or now. Now he got me thinking of a high country. Dang it. This is why I can't drive new trucks. I drive a new truck, and I'm like, oh, man, this is pretty nice. I should get one. So, I'm not new. I'm not a newbie. I just hope this trailer can even support the weight of this thing. This is not good. Oh, crap. Crap, crap. Jesus. I'm not a newbie. I mean, yeah, like I say, I, I'm not a, I'm not a rookie or anything. I know how to operate it. Um, so let's put the tailgate down. Drive it forward onto it. Raise those up here a little bit, and then I'm going to try to load this thing. Oh, my gosh. My God. 
Um. Well, I broke the tailgate off the trailer. Somebody come and look at this. I made it this far, and I already done broke his trailer. So at this point in time, there's nothing to do but to just send it. Just keep tearing stuff up until you can't tear nothing else up. Uh, that's how I look at it anyway. Crap. Well, this was not a good idea. Where is no sh He's gonna ask, what happened to the tailgate? I thought he was getting lumber. Well, let's just say the loader kind of screwed up and he drove onto the tailgate. <clears throat> I didn't do it, but they did it. Anyway. Crap. <laughs> We're back. I want to try to get this engine out tonight, but... It won't happen because I still got to lift the car up, get the car lifted. Because we got to get the transmission to loose. I got to get under this car. I got to get the transmission to loose. And then once when the transmission is loose, then we can pull this engine out of the car. I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow.